Oh my goodness. This is crazy. How far up I am. Yeah, this is really going to get people's attention when you're on that Face of the Death documentary. Oh my gosh. Are you or someone you know thinking about moving to the San Antonio area and look for someone to give you the bottom line of what it's really like? Well, don't go anywhere. I'm going to give you a tour of all the great places to live in San Antonio right now. Hey, my name is Keith Thistle and welcome to another episode of All In, the one show where we talk about everything San Antonio living. In this episode, I'm gonna show you the central west side of San Antonio and show you everything it has to offer. Best known as the original historic suburbia of San Antonio, the central west portion of the city is an eclectic combination of the historic deco district and pockets of Mexican and Tejano culture. Mid-century homes, area amenities, and historic attractions with an artistic blend populate this well-established portion of the city. Showcased best by attractions like the Guadalupe Cultural Arts Center, Cattleman Square, the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Little Flower, Our Lady of the Lake University, and the historic St. Mary's University. The area is full of history and charm. First area we're gonna check out is Balcones Heights. Balcones Heights central location, just inside Loop 410 at the intersection of I-10, allows for incredibly convenient access to the surrounding big city. Residents are only nine miles from downtown San Antonio, two miles from the South Texas Medical Center, 12 miles from SeaWorld, and nine miles from Fiesta, Texas. The city's motto espouses their desire to create a wholesome and friendly environment. They're also known for their excellent law enforcement, AKA, don't speed. Their amazing fire protection, safe and enjoyable parks, and community events and activities. For a small town, the amenities and attractions in Balcones Heights are astounding, mostly due to the local shopping, medical, and entertainment mecca known as Wonderland of the Americas. Their local amphitheater hosts special events like the Balcones Heights Jazz Festival, live painting, novelty children's camps, and cultural festivals. As an established neighborhood, Balcones Heights is home to a great deal of long-term residents, making the neighborhood feel even more like a small town. The neighborhood streets are lined with many mid-century modern homes, both stylishly updated and well-preserved. The low cost of living and neighborhood draw has attracted mostly families, couples, and retirees to Balcones Heights. The area's home prices range from the low 200,000s to the low 300,000s. Now let's head over to Monticello Park. Just west of I-10 in central San Antonio, located in the heart of San Antonio's Deco District, named for its signature 1920s architecture and style, Monticello Park holds the charming appeal of a historic neighborhood with all the amenities and modernities of up-and-coming San Antonio. During the late 1920s, a group of developers transformed Monticello Park from a dairy farm into one of the most desirable neighborhoods in San Antonio. The Deco District boasts a distinct neighborhood culture, encouraging a historic feel and fostering a vibrant local art scene. Local nonprofits like Network for Young Artists and the acclaimed Woodlawn Theater show off local talent, while even the local HEB is affectionately referred to as the Deco B. Besides these cultural attractions, the area provides plenty of natural leisure space. The nearby green space at Woodlawn Lake, a 30-acre lake with walking trails, boat dock with fishing, a swimming pool, gym, dance studio, softball field, and multiple tennis courts. The park is also host to San Antonio's annual 4th of July celebration, fireworks, and parade. Besides these area amenities, Monticello's central location allows residents to enjoy easy access to either the thriving Northern Corridor or the heartbeat of downtown. I have to mention Jefferson High School, a historic landmark built in 1932 at a cost of 1.5 million. And cool fact, the school has been featured in Life Magazine and appeared in several films due to its intricate architectural details. Beloved for its beautiful homes, mature trees, and eclectic vibes, Monticello Park displays a wide array of gorgeous homes featuring styles like Revival, English Tudor, Spanish Colonial, Italianate, English Stone Bungalow, and Art Modern. Depending on renovations and updates, prices range from the 200000s to the 400000s. Well, I hope this video helped you explore more of Central West San Antonio. If you have any questions about buying or selling, please reach out. All of my information is below. And for more videos on San Antonio living, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Keith Thistle with the Thistle Group at Vortex Realty. Thanks for watching.